Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back for the first round of Group B matches for my tournament. And yes, I'm still reeling over losing my first opening match last time. But we're moving on to Group B here, where we will, where we will see Laos taking on Shadow Force, Kit Green going up against Slifer Sky Dragon X, and Team Europe against Dino Nerd. But as I said, at first we have the former champ Laos going up against Shadow Force. So let's get started. Right, we finally got around to sorting out the teams, and at first in the red corner for Laos, we have Alpha Kentrosaurus. Seems to be a staple for him, but instead of going for Quake Saber like last time, he's gone for Spike Arrow this time, so I think he's going for instant damage. And of course, Earth Barrier is always there for him, and Light Recovery. But in the blue corner, we have another Alpha Dinosaur, the Alpha Rajasaurus. Oh wait, no eyes! <laughs> Uh, could be a deadly one in this tournament, that Magma Blaster Firebomb could be a problem for that. Look at that power, 2,500, that's pretty good, especially for a bronze. Blouse might be in for a tough matchup. Well, not with a start like that, a spike arrow right off the bat. A perfect start for Lance. Ooh. Almost half of Rajasaurus's health is gone. And Earth Barrier as well. The perfect start for the former champ. But Magma Blaster has been triggered. Ooh, it's a tie this time. No spike arrows for Laos this time. Ooh, the Alpha Rajasaurus strikes back with a firebomb. But remember, Entrosaurus is boosted by Earth Barrier, so this will not do much damage. Uh, yeah, not too much, but... Oh no, I thought it was, I thought it was poison, my bad. Ooh, this firebomb, however, will do a bit of damage. The Alpha Rajasaurus responding well after a fast start from Laos. Oh my god, you almost killed it! That <laughs> kind of took me by surprise. Ooh, it's a tie, I think Kentrosaurus. Oh, almost dead, almost dead. This time the Kentrosaurus is dead, but the Rajasaurus is in the, in the red. <laughs> Ooh, we have Eoraptor now. What will this transform into? Uh, this one's kind of a jack in the box for that, so I wouldn't expect him to go for this, but. What's it? It's Staracosaurus. Okay, I don't know why his secret moves will be. But I know his other two moves. Fence boost and the tie bomb. Yeah, that's Thunder Driver. That's Thunder Driver there. Wow, look at that technique. Over 3,000. But Eoraptor's greatest weakness is his fragility. Which you're going to see firsthand. Ooh, magma Blaster from the badge. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! Yes, this is what I mean by his fragility. And a tie. Although he did deal a lot more damage to the badge in a tie, so... And yet, yeah, wow! All of a sudden... All of a sudden, the Bragosaurus is in command! But, Laos is down to his last dinosaur, and that dinosaur is Isosaurus. I feel like this is his ace in the hole. And well, he's going to need it, because Shadow Force is 2-0 up. Wow, I didn't see this coming. After the perfect start, things have fallen off a cliff a bit for Laos. But, the Isosaurus does come in to finish mop up the Rajasaurus. Well, the key for Laos here is to defeat Baryonyx without taking too much damage. But that will not be easy. The Baryonyx does have a lot of attacking moves. The Water Sword and Futaba Cannon could do some damage. Aqua Vortex could help tighten the screw further for Shadow Force. But while Laos did pull it back, 
Shadow Force is still in control of this match. And another time. Ooh, a crit from the Barry. I think Shadow Force is going to win. But yeah, you can definitely see that super defense type. That was a crit. And I did very little damage. Ooh, a water sword coming from the champ. Well, the former champ. Could that be a turning point? Oh, look at all that damage. And a tie bomb as well. But Aqua Vortex has been triggered, so that tie bomb will not be very useful. Oh, speaking of Aqua Vortex, here comes the Vortex. Um, will the tie bomb explode? Well, I think it will, because it is a tie at the end of the day. But the Isosaurus is not in a good state. Oh, it doesn't. And all of its moves have been nullified. Ooh. That is going to seal a bonus point win for Shadow Force over the former champ, Laos. That's quite an upset there. I thought Laos would have the advantage in this match, but nope. RNG once again cooks us up the classic. And that is a very good start for Shadow Force. A win and a bonus point. Right, now on to our next matchup of Group B. Alrighty then, on to our next matchup of Group B. And <laughs> I got thrown off, except for it was me, because it's not. It's someone else with Alpha Chasmosaurus. It's Kit Green. Yes, he went for Alpha Chasmosaurus, copycat. But unlikely, he went for all attack. And wow, look at that power, 2700. And like the guy in the last video, Kit Green has a team of lightning dinosaurs. Anyway, in the blue corner, Life of Sky Dragon, we have Ableosaurus. Gonna have to pull his weight here in this matchup, but mag that Magma Blaster could come in handy and not too bad strength. Um, I'd say Kit Green does have the advantage because yes, Life of Sky Dragon's third dino is a water dino, so. I'd say Kit Green definitely has the edge in this fight, but you never know. And well, with a start like that, the Ableosaurus will do well. A Venom Fang right off the bat. Poisoning the Chasmosaurus, which will wear it down as well. Wait, what? Oh, it did get the poison off. <laughs> I was like, wait, it didn't get the poison off? But yeah, it did. Ooh, a crit from the Ableosaurus and a Tappy Jar a dive. Looking a bit ru oh, oh, oops, oops. Looking pretty good for Ableosaurus. Life of Sky Dragon X on top so far. And he's gonna need to he's gonna need to attack quickly because, as I said, his third dino is a water dino, so he'll need to do well with his first two. I mean, so far is, even though the Chasmosaurus is going to strike back with a lightning strike. And um, not, not to the end of the world, they're not a disaster. Ooh, the Ableosaurus, though, taking out the Alpha Chasmosaurus. And a Tappy Jar die for overkills. But, here comes the real challenge. Because up next for Kit Green, we have the Taurosaurus. The Super Taurosaurus. Three. <laughs> I'm just checking my notes so I make sure I activate the Awaken Mode at the correct time. And wow, look at that power, 2750. And Taurosaurus does have very high crit damage for a bronze. I think it has the highest, actually. I'm not 100% sure. I think it does have the highest. Anyway, moving on. Strong start from Cypher Sky Dragon X. And the strong start continues. A Venom Fang right off the bat and a Tappy Jara dive to wear down more of Taurosaurus's health. Looking really good for Cypher Sky Dragon X, but we cannot count out Kit Green yet because if he gets to the Water Dinosaur, he's, he is going to have the advantage. But it's a matter of getting there first. 
Abelosaurus looking really good. Ooh, well the Torosaurus does strike back, but since it's not a crit, it won't do too much damage. That, however, is a crit, and it will do a lot of damage. And, and next round, there'll be awakening time for Torosaurus. And Abelosaurus did really well. Took out, took out the Alpha Chasmo and left Torosaurus with half its HP. And up next for Slider Sky Dragon X, we have a Patasaurus. This beast, with all three secret moves, packs a lot of punch. But it's going to need to, to defeat Kit Green's two lightning dinosaurs. Oh, not Awakening Time yet, actually, because it's a new round. <laughs> but next time, it'll be Awakening Time for Torosaurus. Thunder Driver, and all of a sudden... How quickly the match can turn on its head. Wow, a Patasaurus looks tiny. Ooh, how all of a sudden the match could turn here. Oh, poop I clicked scissors. Okay, so I'll go with paper because Taurus will for a source for the one, so yeah, go scissors. Wow, that just shows how weak Taurosaurus's other moves are. Didn't even take him out, but it does put Kit Green in the lead. Wow, Kit Green really cleaning house now. The Apatosaurus not even getting a hit. Wow, that's quite disappointing really, because Slifer Sky Dragon X was on top early on. But now all of a sudden, we're down to Spiny. Uh, skip this. And now, Slifer Sky Dragon X is the one that has to dig deep. Well, it looked so promising for Slifer Sky Dragon X, but now all of a sudden, thing the momentum has swung in the favour of Kit Green. Ooh, it has it. Spiny gain a crucial hit. But yeah, look at that. Didn't even take it out. Shows how big the type advantage is. Ooh, a tie. And that is curtains for Super Taurosaurus. And Kit Green is also down to his last dinosaur. That being the Super Triceratops. Although... Down to his last dinosaur, Kit Green still has the type advantage over Spiny, so he still has the upper hand in this matchup. And with that awakening mode in the wings as well, it could be a it could be a well-timed victory for Kit Green. Ooh, that's a good start. A lightning strike from the Triceratops. Yeah, look at that. It wasn't even a crit. Ooh. Yeah, I think Kit Green's going to win this one. Can't really see Life of Sky Dragon X pulling it back now. Yep, that's game over for Slifer Sky Dragon X. And the Super Triceratops comes in to clean house and claim the win for Kit Green. Um, well, it, it looked like Slyther Sky Dragon X was going to pull off an upset, but Kit Green pulled it back and managed to snatch the win from Slyther Sky Dragon X. Right, I'll update the table and then we can move on to our final Group B matchup of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Team Europe going up against Dino Nerd. And at first for Team Europe we have Polar Canthus. Yeah, I went for more diverse dinosaurs. Ones that we have, don't you usually see when I pick the bot teams. Uh, same with the move sets as well. Gone for moves that people, not many people have used or none have used. Anyway, up, for, up next for Dino Nerd in the red blue corner, we have a Giganonosaurus. Looking pretty strong there. <laughs> Um, yes, Dino Nerd's team is also one of those teams with 
where all the dinosaurs are the same element, in this case, fire. Um, with all the water dinosaurs running around, I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'll just have to see, because there is a water dinosaur in Team Europe. But there's also a wind one, so... This could be a close one. Oh, we start with a tap. And I think the polar canvas took a little bit more damage there. Ooh, but the polar canvas does get off the first hit, and it's a molar tap. Good start from Polar Campus there. Ooh, still a tie. The Giga still yet to get a hit. And he still won't get a hit because there's another mold attack coming from Polar Campus. Team Europe on top early on. But as we have seen in previous matches, you can come from behind. And here's me blabbing, thinking that um, the start is all that matters. It really doesn't. Anyway, the Giganonosaurus goes down, and up next for Dino Nerd, we have our Bertosaurus. Oh, that's a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid stats here for our Bertosaurus. Can Dino Nerd pull this back, or will the Polar Canthus continue to pulverize? Oh my god, another mold attack! Oh, what's this? I think this is attack first. That's not good for Dino Nerd. Which means more damage is coming his way. Oh, a decent amount of damage there, and attack burst activate then. The Polar Canvas is well on top. Oh my, oh my goodness, I, I, I don't know what's going on. There's another mold attack. <laughs> another attack burst. I think this, I think this might kill the Obertosaurus. Oh my god, you almost killed him! Um, I, I, I'm sorry, Dino Nerd, but you're getting slaughtered here. Leave me a sec. Okay, okay, Dino Nerd finally getting hit. And I think there's a death grind. Polar Canvas rammed into the dirt and gassed to death. Not too much damage dealt, though, but, but at least Dino Nerd got a hit off finally. Team Europe, though, still well in control of this match. Ooh. The Dino Nerd, is he coming back into this? The Polar Campus isn't dead yet, but it's nearly dead. Ooh, the Polar Campus went for, it, trust, for its trusty mole attack. But Dino Nerd didn't fall for it. And now, Team Europe is down to this second dinosaur, the Super Lillian Sturgis. Dino Nerd's dinos will have the advantage, type advantage over this thing, so... Wow, look at that! Wow, 1400 strength and technique. <laughs> Never done that before. But, Lillian Sturgis's combo of tie moves could be useful. And well, Albertosaurus is down to like a sliver of health. And Albertosaurus is done. Tie attack there, making sure of it. And now, Dino Nerd is down to his third dino. And as you can clearly see, it's Terry Dino Tector. This beast could pull it back for Dino Nerd, but Team Europe does have a water dinosaur waiting in the wings, so Dino Nerd is not out the woods yet. He's still in a heap bit of trouble. But, Terry does have a pretty decent moveset. The Dino Stuffer could come in very handy. Along with Volcano Burst and Struffio Rush. But, it's no good if Dino Nerd can't get hits. And here comes that tie combo I mentioned. The tie attack adding extra damage, along with Sonic Blast being activated. <laughs> I think it's set damage as well, so type advantage is irrelevant here. Okay, that's once. Ooh, Terry getting off a critical hit. Lots of damage done to Lillian Sternus and a volcano burst to burst. Can Terry pull this back? But it is awakening time for Lillian Sternus. So Terry is still in a bit of trouble. 
Oh, but that is big from Dino Nerd. Stopping the awakened mode from Lillian Sternus and taking it out. Could that be a turning point? And uh, Team Europe are down to their third dinosaur, the Satiosaurus. That Hydro Cutter could do a serious amount of damage to Terry. Ocean Panic and Move Breaker could cause problems. I think it's Move Breaker. Oh no, it's Tide Bomb, sorry. <laughs> Well, Dino Nerd has pulled this back, but can he complete his comeback? Um, not with a start like that. As the Satiosaurus gets off the first hit, but since it's not a water move, it won't do too much damage to Terry. And that bar is filling up. Once that bar fills up, it's ultimate fire time. Paper, paper, tight, they activated. Oh, Dino Nerd getting a hit! Is he gonna come back? I think Dino Nerd is coming back into this. A Struffio Rush there, gonna add extra damage to the Satyrosaurus. Oosh! But no Volcano Blitz. One tie or a hit from Terry will activate Dino Tector. Oh, here it comes! It's Dino Tector time, so give me a sec while I enter the code. It's Dino Tector time! And is this what Dino Nerd needed to ensure his comeback? Wow, well, it really did look bleak for him at first. It all comes down to this. Oh, I clicked paper. Oh, Dino Nerd is done! Oh, what a comeback from Dino Nerd! Terry pulling it back for Dino Nerd and ensuring a victory. But. As a consolation prize for Team Europe, since Terry's health was below halfway, and it is Dino Nerd's last Dino, Team Europe will get a losing bonus point, and you never know, that could be crucial. But, we have to give credit to Dino Nerd for his fine comeback, and claiming a good, wi a well-deserved win over Team Europe. Oh, that was a good match, wasn't it? And that's a good way to end Group, the first round of Group B. So, I'm going to sort out the table, and then I'm going to end the session. Um, yeah, Shadow Force claiming a surprise bonus point win over former champ Lausp. Dino Nerd with that impressive come from behind against Team Europe. And Kit Green again coming from behind to defeat Life of Skydra. It seems the theme so far is that when you come, when you like lose it, you seem to come back to win. And that's how it seems so far. A lot of the teams that started out strong end up losing. I mean, I started pretty good against Ultimate. I think, did I? Yeah. Well, except for Ibuki, who started pretty well against Tor. I think that's, that's like the only exception. But yeah, that's how Group B looks so far. And Team Europe there claiming a vital losing bonus point. It could be crucial. And yeah, our next matches for Group B, we'll see Slifer Sky Dragonette going up against Team Europe. Shadow Force going up against Dino Nerd. Ooh, that's a big one at the top. And Lausp playing Kit Green. That could be a big game for Lausp. Get some points on the board. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.